Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer Glatzofer, a musical theatre performer and a voice teacher. And today I have gone quickly back to voice play because the recent one in Canto, a lot of you did say that I shouldn't skip this one. Do you know what? I don't know Skyrim, so <laughs> that's probably why I was like... <laughs> However, we can still appreciate great music. So <laughs> I'm excited. This is voice play The Dragonborn Comes and yeah, like I said, I don't know the song. I have no idea. I know sometimes people might, you know, you might be thinking, why don't you listen to the original first and then come back to this? But I like knowing what I know and then go into this. Sometimes that means I know the song. Sometimes I, that means I know nothing. And so that, that way you kind of get a feel of where I am right now and going into this. But then, yeah, there you go. I'm just being honest with you. I know nothing. <laughs> well, I know a few things, but anyway. <laughs> This is a reaction and analysis video, so I will be stopping and talking about what I'm hearing vocally. There is also, they're featuring Omar Cardona in this, which is great, so we get to hear a new voice in here as well. If you'd rather watch this full video without me interrupting and talking about the vocals, I have popped the original link in the description below, as well as a link to my other voice play reactions. That will be somewhere there too as well, if not up here. If you like what I do over here and want to support me some more, I do have my own Patreon set up. You can choose whatever tier you want to be in and support as much as you can. It's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell button. Let's get to it. goodness sorry <laughs> okay <laughs> this rumble in his voice these like subharmonic levels going down um, why do I try every time I can't <laughs> I love how Jeff is kind of closing the sounds so especially like that last one was I think the word was comes and he's like, mm, we're lingering on that mm. these mm, which is such a the M's are such a lovely resonance building exercise of an ex of a vocal exercise. We're building our resonance. We've got this chest connection and we can bring it down low as well because it belongs there. It's so lovely. It's just the pure vibrations we're hearing and that little rich that we heard halfway through there. And yeah, those dum 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 little uh who arranged this one? Ah, so Jeff arranged it and he's placed himself. Duh. Obviously you would. Let's go back from the beginning because uh, uh, again, I'm going to mention this here and probably throughout this video, but I love how far they go with their effects and the setting and the filming of it. It's just wonderful. Like that little vocal friend. And then... Oh. It's a long note as well to just be hovering there. Claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. Leaning on that. With the voice wielding power uh, of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe, the dragon. Sounds so well together. It's an end to the Skyrim's falls. Nice. So again, like the third voice we've kind of heard solo here uh, from Omar. Like it's so almost breath-like and it's, you know, into our head voice, into our upper register. I love as well with voice play. I've just looked at the description again and they go through who's in, who's in the video. <laughs> they've got tenor, tenor, 
tenor, tenor extraordinaire, tenor fabuloso, bass, 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 drums and shenanigans, or inspiring. <laughs> it's so nice. Anyway, yeah, Omar's just beautifully up there in this softer kind of touch. Then we get a bit more of a connected voice. But the second voice from Caesar, obviously a little bit, it's going to be in a different placement to where Jeff is because naturally the tenor uh, feel is there. We're a bit lighter, but so beautifully and connected. It's just where those golden notes ring for him. Let's go back to you, Caesar. With the voice wielding power oh, so of the ancient Nord He's completely different to Encanto when he was going, going for it. <laughs> believe, believe the dragon born. They sound so good. To the evil of all Skyrim's Yes, yeah, so we start breathy, then get that connection. Beware, beware, the dragonborn comes. The dragonborn comes. Oh, nice. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. I'm always here for Ellie's voice. <laughs> Cool. So it was a, a nice vocal effect on the word on the word comes from Omar. Car, there was so much breath in there, and then we saw that kind of breath uh, from Lane. So it's kind of all vocally we see we're hearing that, visually we're seeing that, and it just matches. Yes, I love that kind of call and response almost with that hesitation. Then they all come together. It's so good. And yeah, as I mentioned, Ellie's connection is just sublime. Oh no, what did they say? Extraordinaire. <laughs> no, the dragonborns Yeah, sorry, this is wonderful. Let's just go back to the first R section. It's quite nice because we hear the higher kind of voices go for that pattern. And then the bass is kind of almost delayed. How the late, I don't know how the original goes, but here it's just really nice. You know, it's spectacular because it's all done with voices and it's just incredible. And then yeah, as we go higher and higher, Ellie offering us that kind of higher sound here, really twangified, right? We've got that bright ping coming from, you know, the ping right from the soft palette being lifted pinching from our cheeks getting that sound right bounced there he's even doing that with his face right we get this kind of like and he's placing it with his hands let's go back to the beginning ours and just watch this section <laughs> They've obviously recorded it and they're going over it again, but I'm sure they sing over the top. Like Ellie's positioning of his mouth there. Ah, where, what note did we hit? Ellie has just really beautifully blended a C sharp five here, right? And you can kind of see he's not reaching for anything. He in fact does this. <laughs> it's kind of like there's a long string at the back of his head, like the crown of his head pulling up. So instead of doing anything to cause any tension around 
around his extrinsic muscles, like anything or his tongue, like just reaching for it. We're actually just allowing the freedom of the larynx wherever it wants to go. We're allowing that space to be created for him. And he's found that and he lives in it. It's so lovely. All these kind of calling, oh, like chanty things are so great and unisonified. I tried to blend that together. I don't know why, but it's really good. <laughs> I don't know. What is this about? <laughs> okay, this is so cool. Did you hear that? I need to go back to what Jeff did because then so many things just happened. But okay, Ellie is continuing having this great twang, like lifted placement, bright pingy placement. And the twang, you know, that ah, ah, like ugly kind of sound, think quack, quack, get that really ugly kind of sound. That's not happening in our vocal folds. He's not causing any like constriction or like, you know, causing any strain in his actual vocal folds is actually happening above around his eriapiglottis sphincter or AES for short this is a long word and that's where it's happening right it's happening up there not on the vocal folds they are doing their thing and that's how he can continue going back to it because he's not causing any pain we do hear sometimes a little bit of distortion that is something else that's around the false vocal folds or like adding little grits elsewhere again nothing to do with the vocal folds they are doing their thing let's just find that place with Jeff's bass walking kind of just uh, like rainfall almost. I don't know what it was. Like so, so fast. I'm doing everything wrong here, but it he's so tiny to get those intervals and it's so short and snappy staccato -y. like you know he's not lingering or anything and he's it's tricky stuff right and it's I love how we can hear it a little bit more because he does something a little bit before as well but here it's really kind of brought to the fore ever, ever so slightly I mean everyone's you know we're not on any words here on ours so things like this will stick out but it's just let's just do it again because I love I love where it's placed in the mix <laughs> It's so like, kind of cheeky. <laughs> and I love that. Stop. Oh, he's got beautiful tone. My goodness what are you doing Jeff what's going on <laughs> I honestly feel like I watch these clips now voice play and I feel like I know them like I really want to know them that's why but I'm like Jeff what are you doing <laughs> you don't know me um oh it's uh, okay yeah he gets so tiny up on that e5 up there it's insane like the amount of uh resistance Ellie is including in his voice up there to get that sounding how it's sounding he's on his thin faults he's like um, we're going into his third part like he's high like he's hitting high notes for me e ah, up there like for me to get that resistance up there it's tricky stuff as well and he's just there beautifully relaxed hitting it okay wonderful <laughs> love him with aval as well oh it's an axe okay i thought he was gonna say something <laughs> Claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. His voice. You know, you know, the dragonborn comes. 
<laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> I was I was secretly hoping they'd be like hello he whatever that goes into that <laughs> oh that was beautiful kind of little riff and again he's Omar's kind of offering a bit more of a breathy quality here similar to how it, we heard him at the beginning it's so different to the other voices Ellie's very very much uh connected when he comes in a little bit of distortion uh Caesar is sometimes breathy as well but here like that beginning that we heard him otherwise he's there offering that great tenor backing like wonderfully rhythmically in there and obviously completely different to what Jeff's offering which is this low kind of depth to his bass voice those vibrations is really <laughs> sounding great yeah really really lovely freedom at the end let's hear that again you know, you it's so like heavenly and floaty oh and that stop Doom. lovely well, thank you very much for telling me that I should go back and react to this, that I do not want to sleep on it. You are absolutely correct. I'm glad I went back because uh, it, they, it's such a show and a performance and you know that I'm here for that. So I'm going to really appreciate what they're doing. I also really love that we always hear, like I love that they feature people, featuring me. Um, <laughs> I love that we hear different people every time, but also within the group, they always kind of swap between who's going to take a little bit more of the lead or something. And it's, it's really, really nice they always always listen to one another I, lo I love the stops in the songs as well it's glorious thank you very much for watching this reaction and analysis video if you did enjoy it please go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell button and the thumbs up button and i'll see you very soon for another video bye